Well, all right. Hello and good morning. I hope everybody's feeling good. We're gonna watch some uh, some Tim Pool content. Uh, just uh, just to catch up on on good old Tim because we haven't made a video on him in a while on the second channel. Um, he posted this yesterday, and uh, I just I figure we need to start with this. <laughs> Boink. I kind of like it when he gets hurt. That really wasn't hurt enough, if you ask me. But uh, his skateboard says, step on Snack and find out. Yeah. It's kind of cute, you know? All right, let's watch this. <laughs> then he pulls a real gamer move. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good old, uh, when the uh, 30 year old uh, Simpsons reference. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. I will I will say that is actually pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. Not bad. I can't do that on a skateboard. However, that that needs to be banned forever. Let's not ever ever do this dance move again, please, Tim. I know, I, I, I'm not trying to be like, look, no fun allowed or anything like that. This is fine. It looks like Tim's having fun with his friends and he's, you know, doing skateboarding and goofing off, you know, and kind of smiling yeah, as much as Tim ever can actually smile since he doesn't really have human emotions. But that being said, just it must pain woke lefty skateboarders that I'm better at them than skate better at them than them at skateboarding. What I don't understand, though, is like, hey, guys, I'm having a good time. I'm just like, you know, doing my thing, and it's totally cool. Aren't you triggered? Like, what are you doing, dude? That's so weird. That's super, super weird. So anyway, uh, I was thinking that we might watch this one because this this video is very personally relevant to me. And... Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I have a little bit of history with uh, the guy that they're talking about. <clears throat> so way back in the day, uh, I, was, uh, I, I ended up having to deal with a bunch of dramatic bullshit because of a person named Coach Red Pill, uh, an, in, in, a far-right incel content creator who was also a scam artist and ripped people off of a bunch of fucking money. And... Uh, I was going to make an exposed video about him, but I was like, you know what? I don't really want to make that video because it sounds like it's a bunch of drama. And then some far right, like Nazi dickhead fucking kid found the server where all of the data that people had been finding on this guy to make an exposure exposure video on him because he's a, a, a thief. Uh, and uh, they were like, they're trying to dox him. And it basically turn an entire year and a half of my life into a shit show. Fucking crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. So I don't like this guy. And funny enough, Sargon, Sargon of Akkad was the one who ended up making the drama video that exposed him as a lying, grifting piece of shit. Yet, it's, for some reason, people still don't like me because of that, even though I didn't make the video, and they forget that Sargon did make the video. It's weird. It's complicated and stupid. Anyway, so Coach Red Pill... Uh, he ended up moving to Ukraine. He has, like, a new family there. He's had a few families. He tends to abandon his families, too, uh, where he became a Russian propagandist. So, uh, yeah, here we are. He apparently, uh, th this is, this is, uh, Tim, uh, reporting on this, and he's gonna get it completely wrong. We got this Twitter thread from Gonzalo Lira. Oh, this is the guy who was arrested in Ukraine, who has just recently gotten out and is tweeting that he is seeking to flee the country. He says he was being tortured in jail when he was arrested. So awesome. Good. <laughs> Do more of that. No, I look, I <laughs> whatever. <dude. laughs> There's nobody on the internet I hate enough that I think they should actually be tortured. Nah, nah. Even even well. Anyway, uh this was the second time that he was arrested. He was arrested the first time early on in the war. Because uh, he was basically spreading a bunch of lies and propaganda. So the Ukrainians, they arrested him. And uh, like the when he got out, everybody's like, you're going to flee, right? You should probably like get out of the country. 
but he didn't because he's a fucking idiot. And then he got arrested again, which is very funny because he just kept doing the thing that got him arrested in the first place because he's an idiot. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you know a lot about this, Liam. He's an American citizen. Correct. He's an American Coach citizen. Coach Red Pill, right? Uh, Coach, Coach Red Pill. Coach yeah, Red yeah. Pill. And and Serge, if if you bring up my pinned tweet, is it's funny that he's an American citizen because he's Chilean. He lived in America for a little bit, and I don't know if he actually got like his full citizenship or if he like anchored his way in through a marriage. But he hasn't lived in America forever. When he became popular on YouTube, oh, and he's been doing this, it was for like six or seven years now, he was in England. He was living in London. Then he moved to Ukraine. So he hasn't had anything to do with the United States for a long time. It's me asking the State Department about him um, in, I think it was uh, maybe like a month ago or a couple months ago now. Um, And yeah, I mean, so that was when I was at the Epic Times. Um, it didn't, the, the question didn't go over so smoothly at the Epic Times. I don't know. I don't know if I can get into that too much. Well, but, let, let's um, go through this guy's Twitter thread. He tweets right now. I'm about to, um, I'm about to try to get out of Ukraine and seek political asylum in Hungary. And I will also add, this was from 623 PM. It's currently 924 PM Eastern. I'll check his Twitter to see if he successfully crossed. He goes on to describe what happened to him. He says he broke no laws. He was accused of breaking no laws. He was just reporting on what was going on in Ukraine and it made Ukraine look bad. So they arrested him. He says, my indictment explicitly states that all I did was discuss publicly known facts about the war, the epitome of free speech in a democracy. The problem with this is that Gonzalo is desperately trying to utilize uh, American perspectives on freedom, on expression, uh, and he's trying to apply it to an active fucking war zone where the, quite literally, The morale of the people in the war zone is an important factor in the war. So if you're actively trying to make the country you're in look like shit and convince other people to make to think that that country is a pile of shit and all the people in it are bad. And you're trying to politically sway people's opinions while literally inside the war zone of the people that you are criticizing now. Whether or not that's a law that's being broken in Ukraine, I don't know. But I don't think that you can just blindly apply that sort of thing because other people are not going to understand. Also, what kind of a fucking moron does this kind of thing? If you're going to criticize Ukraine, go over the border to another goddamn country where the Ukrainians can't beat the shit out of you. What are you doing? It's insane. Because these types of people are the same kind of people who are like, if you don't, if you're an immigrant, and you don't respect America, you need to get the fuck out. Like, how is this? How? Why? Why would you not use that same kind of reasoning with your brain? Is it because you're that fucking self-important? It's insanity. But Zelensky's Ukraine is no democracy. It's a thieving, corrupt, murderous gangster regime pretending to be polite Western democracy. He's right about that. And that's obvious because Ukraine has <laughs> always been that. Tim has been flirting with the uh, the the very far right uh, Russian apology, uh, uh, fuck Ukraine stance. Yep. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, once arrested, I was given documentation assuring me that I was guaranteed the right to contact my lawyers and loved ones. In fact, I was blocked from calling anyone, even my lawyers, and I was not permitted to post bail. He goes, on- yeah, I don't trust a word that comes out of Gonzalo's mouth. Or in his tweets. He's a known liar. A known liar and a known propagandist. Anybody who uncritically just believes everything that this guy says is a fucking mark. Primed and ready to be taken advantage of. The dude is a fucking liar. It has been proven over and over and over and over and over again. Like, it's fucking wild, dude. Like, Sargon, when Sargon revealed this guy to be a confidence man to be an absolute liar and a thief i I, like after that the only reason why people will give this guy the time of day is because sargon took down that video and it's not more widely known i'm gonna describe that he was tortured and uh let me let me uh once inside he's a prison i was tortured in the two of the four cells i was in by the other prisoners guards never beat prisoners they outsource the torture 
maybe they maybe the prisoners just really didn't fucking like you. He's a very unlikable person. He has a terrible personality and he's very shitty to people. One prisoner actually apologized to me, telling me he had no choice. He wasn't lying, I understood. Yeah, probably bullshit. I got a cracked rib in my first cell, but it wasn't too bad. The worst stretch is my fourth cell. Wait, wait, wait. So he was tortured in two cells because he got a cracked rib and because somebody beat him up. That's not torture. That's getting your ass kicked. That's what happens in prison. If you don't want to go to prison, get the fuck out of Ukraine. He goes on to say that he was beaten for over 30 hours and sleep deprived. The craziest thing Probably about bullshit. this, and uh, this is pretty brutal, so you've been warned. He says, at one point, two thugs held my head and used a toothpick to scratch the whites of my left eye while asking me if I could still read if I had just one. Not going to lie, that was unnerving. Probably bullshit. He goes on to say, the U.S. Embassy called me three times but gave me nothing but support, in quotes, empty bromides. The guard told me to remove my shirt. He had injury and bruising to his chest after being beaten. Let's scroll down. He goes on to mention that they found out he had money. He wasn't poor, and they extorted about $70,000 out of him, and he's lost about $100,000. He says the conditions of his bail were that he has to wear an ankle monitor, surrender his passports, and not leave the city of Kharkov, much less the country. However, after posting bail, he didn't get an ankle monitor, and they returned his passports. He was going to say that he was told by one guy they were telling you to leave. And then he says he's he doesn't know. So he's going to de he decided he will die trying. He rode his motorcycle across Ukraine, 1,400 kilometers in two days. Uh -huh. He said, I'm going to Hungary to ask for political asylum. Right, 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 right. Again, all of this is probably horseshit. Probably horseshit. I, I would not trust Roach Red Pill any further than I could fucking throw his ass. Uh... I mean, you know, he's actually a pretty tiny fucking guy, but still. Uh, oh, fun fact, by the way, he once threatened to beat the shit out of me. It was really funny. He got I got him so mad on a live stream. He threatened to beat the shit out of me. And so I was like, all right, man, well, you know, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be here at this uh, at this fucking convention. Come beat me up, man. Come beat me up, buddy. Come beat me up, buddy. Uh, and he sure didn't. He sure fucking didn't. Did I just call him Roach Red Pill? I did. And you know what's interesting? It looks like maybe it's very possible that he might have deleted this entire thread. Let's find out. Uh, we'll keep listening to this video. All right, one second. When I fail to show up in court in Kharkov, an arrest warrant will be issued likely an international warrant. No doubt other EU countries will comply like sheep, returning me to serve five to eight years in a prison labor camp. Regardless of the oh, fact no, still that Kiev arrested and imprisoned me for YouTube videos for free speech. What happened to European democratic values? Well, I'll tell you, Gonzalo, freedom, liberty, and the Constitution, whatever you think you have, mean nothing in warfare. They can tell you these things, but it's only when you're in a safe and secure state will they allow it. He says, I'm posting this thread just as I'm getting to the border checkpoint. I'm also posting videos on the two channels I have access to, the Roundtable and Gonzalo Lira again. If you don't hear from me in the next 12 hours, well, I'm on my way to a labor camp. Wish me luck. Wow. I'll pull up his uh, account right now and see if there's any updates. Uh, that was that that I believe. You should have set up a match with Valor Fights in Knoxville. Want, get, want me to get Tar to set it up? She's friends with the promoter. Uh, I really, really, really don't like that fucking woman. I don't want anything to do with her, and I don't want anything to do with Valor Fights. The people who put that shit on are, I no, I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Uh, that is some IBS kind of, uh, uh, level stuff. I will say, however, uh, if you are interested, uh, in actually trying to find me a, a good boxing match, I'll fight Tim Pool. Absolutely. I would love to fight Tim Pool. That would be cool. Not with Valor. Mm -mm, not that company. Some other company? Sure. Totally fine with that. I believe that was the last he posted. Oh my God. Maybe, maybe he has some replies. And uh, we don't know if he made it. That was three hours ago. So this, yeah, is, a, this mean, is a crazy story. This is insane. And so this guy, a little bit more about him. He was born in California. Um, he's a U.S. citizen. He's like a dual citizenship in, in Chilean. And a lot of people use that to discredit him. But he was born in the U.S. He is a U.S. citizen. He was in the past like a contributor for Business Insider, Zero Head. Just make sure you don't change your name after doing the blood work. Yeah, no, I remember the whole Valor fight. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, that whole thing was a shit show. But you know what? Internet blood sports is dead, and it's I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that.
edge. Um, he, I, I, I've talked to some people like who I trust, and they kind of, they kind of have like a bad opinion of him. They're like, oh, he's kind of a wacko. But at the end of the day, he was, um, he is a U.S. citizen, and all he was doing, that is correct, when he says that, all he was doing was making YouTube videos, um, criticizing the U.S. Uh, NATO support for the Ukraine war, criticizing Zelensky. Um, the U and I, and so I asked the State Department about this a couple months ago, and and um, Matthew Miller, the spokesman, was just like, "Yeah, you know, we're aware." W this was when he was still in jail. He's like, "Yeah, we're aware that he's that he's in jail. Um, we support free speech, and I'm just going to leave it at that." And I was like, "Well, are you are you working to get him released?" And he's like, "I'm just going to leave it at that." And so clearly, it sounds like Gonzalo. They, they were probably not, had they him were arrested. Not, well, yeah. They, they might have given. Wait, 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 wait. Who probably had him arrested? Are, you, are they trying to make the, the the case that Americans wanted to have him arrested? That that's fucking weird. Like, Coach Red Pill is, and I know they just want to keep calling him Gonzalo Lira, but let's be honest. All this dude is is a fucking incel like MRA YouTuber who decided to stick his fucking nose into international politics. Because he saw that there was a possibility to make money on it, and now he's more than likely pretty much paid as a propagandist. Like, he is a talentless fuck. Aside from the fact he knows how to set up some cameras with pretty decent, decent effect, you know? Better than me. I'll give him that. Even the order to get him arrested, but it sounds yeah, like... Basically, well, nobody gives a shit about him that much more. The Ukrainians are going to get pissed because it's pissing them off. You know, he's spreading propaganda from literally inside one of their cities. Of course that's gonna piss him off they're dying they're fighting a fucking invasion off and here's this 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 dickhead who's <laughs> who's basically trying to tell everybody that they're a piece of shit uh, yeah i i i would go beat his ass too if i was in that situation uh, it's what the fuck i don't know he escaped prison right if i'm reading that right no they he was released and they gave him back his passport Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They released it. And this fucking dude doesn't even, he's not even caught up. He wasn't even paying attention. He's been released. It's over. If he just leaves Ukraine, it's not a fucking problem anymore. Them gave him his passport and said, don't leave. However, he was supposed to have an ankle monitor. And no passport. Oh, I see. And no I passport. See. I see. Okay. So what he tweeted, which is what we were just reading, is that someone told him, yo, they're telling you to leave. But it could be a setup. Like he said, he leaves... He takes us and he says, I'm getting out of here before. And that's what they use to get him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what do you do other than that? Well, th like, this is wild. And like, they, I'm, again, they, I'm, there's nothing. I'm excited to kind of ask the government about this now. Cause like this could change. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Why would it, why would he, why, why is the government going to talk to you about this kind of shit? Like who even is this fucking dork? Is, do we have any in? No, no, no. That's just the people that are usually on there. Who the fuck is this dork? Why would anybody give a shit that he wants to contact the government to talk about this this weirdo? Like, I don't understand. It, I don't, it's an interesting story. Like, it's going to be interesting to see how, like, our government reacts to this. Because, like... Why would they? They don't give a shit. We're not at war, for one. And uh, uh, he got released. So it's over. Like, what? What? Is it, I think this guy is, like, coming to terms with the fact that something that he was rallying against, like... They need to free Gonzalo is over and he doesn't know what to do with it now. Are they going to acknowledge like are they going are they going to even acknowledge this story cuz cuz inherent to it is the fact that they've been letting this US citizen rot in prison for a couple months. Yeah, yeah nobody likes him. Ignore it. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. But I'm and I'm I hope to that I can ask him about it. Um and and see what they say, but it's you know yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, he had the wrong views and 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 so we allowed um or even maybe directed our ally to imprison him. Uh, for speech. Oh, uh, okay. Cons conspiracy theory on that shit. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the United States really hates uh, Coach Red Pill. That's why they instructed the Ukrainians to arrest him. Blah. Fucking dumb, dude. He was this is insane. When he was making those videos, I was like, in my gut, I thought, wow, this is what is he doing? He's in a war torn. He's in the country that's at war right now, and he's talking crap about his own, like. That doesn't go well for citizens if you're in a war. Like, you gotta... yeah, right. But the, but the U.S. should still stand up for the principle of free, free speech. I agree with you. I, I asked Thomas Massey that this question. It was not recorded, but he basically said the same thing. He was like, "Well, what was he doing over there in Ukraine?" But it's like he he lived there. He Report. lived there before the war started. He was. What kind of like baby brain kind of shit is this? 
Are, are you so inane and, and, and vapid, hollow-headed dumb fuck that you're like, well, if the U.S. has anything to do with the country, they should make sure that the country follows through on the United States ideals. Do you have any idea how many dictatorships we support all the fucking time? You know how many times we have overturned democratically elected leaders in other countries because we could control somebody who was a fucking fascist? Like, we do that. We do, we're doing it now. We do it all the fucking time. Ukraine is not one of these. But at the same time, if we're willing to do that, this idea that we're going to stand up against Ukraine because they arrested and detained for a while some propagandist dickhead who's literally in their fucking country talking shit and trying to ruin morale and spread a bunch of fucking lies, like... Why are we going to give a fuck? Why would the United States give a fuck? You want them to give a fuck because you give a fuck. Because it's part of your propaganda and your fucking team sports. But Jesus Christ, how goddamn naive is this? It's insane. It wasn't only reporting. He lived there. So what's um, the... So that was his home. What's like the, the set... Like if an American goes to another country and becomes a citizen, have they not just forgiven all their American rights, they no longer have American rights. No, they, he's they still a citizen. New country's rights. He's not a citizen, well, he's a resident. Yeah, he's a citizen of the U.S., a resident of Ukraine. But so his, it, his U.S. citizen rights don't apply to other countries. Right. Like, you can't no, make no, but me when, but when you US, Chinese but, rights but, just because you're a Chinese citizen. But Thank you, Ian. Again, again, fucking brain-dead hippie is still the smartest fucking person on this show. Like, he's right. Oh, go... I mean, listen to the Biden administration, listen to the State Department. Whenever there's a U.S. citizen who, I mean, Brittany, uh, Brittany Griner, like, remember when she was yeah. detained in Russia? It was like all we could talk about is like, release him. And then um, the, they the, traded the merchant the of Wall death, Street, right? Yeah. And then the Wall Street journalist, the Wall Street Journal journalist who was also in prison in Russia. I, I don't know if he's still there, but it's like those things we can't stop talking about it because it's our adversaries imprisoning our citizens. This is our ally who we have a ton of leverage over um, imprisoning our. Which says to me the likely scenario is the Biden administration ordered his arrest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Biden administration is really threatened by fucking coach goddamn red pill. You fucking dorks. Jesus Christ. This is so insane. This is absolutely nuts. I wonder if Phil ends up saying anything about this. Phil Labonte. Nah, he doesn't really talk about it. All right. Um, and this is the other one that I kind of wanted to really quickly just touch on real quick. Uh, Roseanne was right. No election in 2024. Uh, we're just doing this is just a mishmash of some temple content. So here, fuck it. Just enjoy. I think Roseanne may have been right. Military tribunals by the end no. of the year. Oh, not that one. <laughs> Roseanne <laughs> said God. there's not going to be an election. And Michael Malice said, of course, there will be. And then, you know, my response was, of course, like, define, we need to clarify what you mean. And I tweeted this earlier. Perhaps she's right, not in the literal sense that all of a sudden there's no election. But if Donald Trump is removed from the ballot in a single state, can you really call it a true election? And that, I think, is an interesting. True. Uh, well, I mean, no, yeah, you can, because wait, wait, wait. Hang on, Tim. I thought you were all about states' rights. So if states decide if you want to vote for, for fucking Mango Mussolini, you have to ride him in, that's the state's rights. Don't you support states' rights, Timothy? Interesting point. Everyone knows the front runner is Donald Trump. He's going, to be the nom he's going to be the nominee for the GOP, Joe Biden, likely, unless something changes. It could change, but right now it's looking like Biden versus Trump. That's what the polls well, are showing. A, boogaloo. a lot can change from now and then. If there is an election... And Trump is forcefully removed from that election. It's not an election because the people aren't given the choice they actually want. I agree. You can you will people will call it an election. But if it isn't actually an election and you doesn't matter what right. you call it. Well, in banana republics, well, they call them elections. But you, right? like you can't you can't legally <laughs> yeah. call America. What in the fuck was that? You can't legally yeah. call American. You can't legally call American cheese cheese. Banana well, republics, they call. What in the fuck is that? What in the fuck is that? That is a choice, huh? On election, but you right. like you can't you can't legally <laughs> call yeah. American you can't legally call American cheese cheese. That's why the yes. package says American pasteurized processed cheese product. We call it cheese. We ask for extra cheese when we put it on our burgers, mm -hmm. 
but it is legally distinct from cheese. Wow. So that's a technicality I'm referring to. <laughs> it is legally distinct from cheese. It, in Truth. fact, is. I love the, I, I like know, the comparison. Know, <laughs> what I really love is I'm a big fan of Home Run-In Pizza. You guys ever have Home Run-In? I don't think so. Where's that? A uh, Chicago, famous Chicago okay. pizza brand. They're it's, it's really good pizza. It's like a flat pizza. And um, you get these little personal ones, and it says cheese pizza with pepperoni. Why? Because they don't have the legal amount of pepperoni on them to be called pepperoni oh, pizzas. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> right. So here's there's, my there's point. An, there's, there's a legal, legal amount in Chicago? Yes. Wow. Not Chicago, I think federally. But here, here's my point. My point is this. Federal government at work. The left, the liberals, will remove Trump and then say, we had a free and fair election. Mm -hmm. And the right will say, our guy was removed from the ballot. How is that a fair election? And the left will just say it. Let me, let me read you this part of this. This is crazy. Check it out. The co-conspirators. One, an attorney who was willing to spread lies. They say false claims. Two, an attorney who devised an attempt to implement a strategy. Three, an attorney whose unfounded claims of election fraud defendant privately acknowledged to others sounded crazy. Four, a DOJ official. Five, an attorney. So there's, what is this? Four attorneys advising Donald Trump. And they're like, that makes it a conspiracy. So, then yes. Yes, it does. Because these are four people that had to pass the bar and they understand law. And they are advising the president, and they're all complicit in legitimately breaking the law. Yes, Tim. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you serious? Oh, my God. That is so... <laughs> uh, it's crazy, man. That's so crazy. What the fuck? The copium is off the fucking charts on this. It's going to be amazing. And you've got... We're, we're doing their quick. jobs. <laughs> Co-conspirator 6, a political consultant who helped implement a plan to submit fraudulent slates of presidential electors. What they're doing is they're saying it's false because the media said so. And the electors are fraudulent because they weren't elected, despite the fact Democrats had done this in 1960. They sent a slate of electors. They uh, stuff happened in the past. So this stuff shouldn't counter something or something with something. I don't what the f I don't know what the fuck this this tactic is supposed to be. But honestly, if we could prosecute people for knowingly pushing lies and implementing a strategy and trying to influence and that sort of thing, I really wish we could throw Tim Pool into that too. You know, lying propagandist Tim Pool who helped push unfounded, you know, unsubstantiated rumors. The thing is, you can't prosecute Tim for it because Tim is just such a dumb fuck. He doesn't know any better. Lawyers, they do. They were there convened and did everything despite the fact the state was awarded to the Republicans. They did it anyway. And then when it came down to the actual electoral vote, Nixon, the VP at the time, counted the Democrat votes instead. So when Donald Trump did exactly the same thing, now it's fraud. This is a clear sham, an attempt. This is the, this is the real conspiracy. This is the real oh. fraud happening right in front of us. Oh. Donald Trump believed stupid things. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Donald Trump sought to legally remedy these things. When he's on the phone with these people, he genuinely believes that lawyers telling him these yeah. things are happening. And he's like, OK. And as Phil pointed out, there is not an ounce. Nah, there that's bullshit. So like and there's other evidence that's been that's been brought up repeatedly over and over and over again that he absolutely knew what he was doing was false, was a lie. It was all horseshit. He knew he can't plead that he was. just well, uh, Listen. I just didn't know. I didn't know what I was supposed to do, okay? Listen, I was given some bad advice uh, from Obama. And that motherfucker just led me down the wrong path, okay? So lock him up and lock up Hillary, okay? I don't know. Anyway, I can't take any more of this brain drain dumb fuck uh, content, so we're just gonna end it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah.